here's just a quick portion showing how I'm actually soldering all of these. Basically, I just strap the cable in so that the spacing is all correct. You want to make sure this is secured how you're going to have it. And then with larger cables, you also, they're actually color groups. So they're usually blue, orange, green, brown, slate, just like wire color code. So they're wrapped on the inside. You can see here some of the wrapping for orange and blue. Those would have been on separate bunches. Anyway, you separate out all your wires and then you need to cut them to length. And what I've been doing is I just use nippers. So this red orange wire is going here and so I'm just gonna go ahead and snip it. You can leave yourself as much room as you're comfortable with. I think having them as short as possible is probably the best idea for this. On a lot of things, I usually will leave extra space but for this particular project, there's so many wires in here that having them short is better because then you're able to close up the phone easier. Whereas if you have a lot of length, it's just kind of too hard. And obviously you would do this for both sides. I've already done the wires on this side. There are only the ring wires here and then the lamps. And I did a previous video showing my color code chart I made. So you can go ahead and check that out in the description. Anyway, before my phone runs out of memory, uh, better just show you quick. I've also just been using the nippers to strip the wire. So you usually just go ahead and make a tiny strip about as long as that is. And I desoldered all of the wires that were originally on this because there were um, there was a whole cable soldered on here and it had been cut right at the base of the phone, so it wasn't really usable. And that's a bit long, so I'm gonna trim it off a bit. Uh, anyway, we'll just go ahead and solder a couple of these down quick. So I have a temperature controlled soldering iron. I had done one of these with a non-temperature controlled soldering iron, but having temperature controlled really makes it a lot better because you're able to make sure your joints are reliably soldered. And there you can see I just soldered one in. I unfortunately can't really film it very well because you'd have to be really up close with it. But um, on the further back ones, I was using a pair of tweezers to actually bend the wires into the socket. And on this side too, you need to be careful because there's A leads from the hold key that I usually just leave in place. So those you want to make sure you don't burn off. All these pins are so close together that it's a bit tricky to work with. But basically I just take the tip of the soldering iron and there's usually enough solder on here. Still on the plug from the original that you can go ahead and just reheat it. and slide the wire in and there you go. So I think that should uh, 
pretty much cover. I've been doing this, but it's just a tedious process because it's so closely intertwined and meshed on each other. You want to make sure you don't damage the existing infrastructure. I'd say all of those joints look fine, but if you have any that seem like they might be loose, I usually just take a dab of solder on the end of the soldering iron, and then I would just go and apply it to one that needs it accordingly. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, just let me know. I'm happy to help out if you're trying to restore an old phone. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.